Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adrian Vaughn, and as we head to the tropics, things still staying very quiet in the Atlantic Basin. A lot of different things happening in the Atlantic Basin, and that's why things continue to stay very quiet. We do still have cooler than normal sea surface temperatures across much of the central Atlantic. Most locations they're seeing uh, sea surface temperatures in the upper 70s. Normally we see them in the 80s at this point. Also, another plume of Saharan dust moving on through, and the upper level winds continue to stay unfavorable for tropical development. So the National Hurricane Center saying nothing happening here the next five days. So something that we are certainly still quite thankful for. Uh, this is what it looks like for the Saharan dust that we're watching move through the Gulf of Mexico as we get through the end of the week. I think here in Southeast Texas, we'll start to notice hazier skies as we get towards your Friday and into Saturday. Still going to be dealing with some dusty conditions here and there. And then another plume of dust moves through the Caribbean as we get into uh, uh, the second half of the weekend and into early next week. So again, something else we'll be watching, but things have been very quiet, especially in the Atlantic Basin so far this season. That's not an indication of what's to come, though. We know that the bulk of the hurricane season happens during the months of August, September, and even into the early part of October as well. We're still very early on in the season here at the end of July. The last name system we had in the Atlantic Basin it was Colin that dissipated back on July the 3rd. So it's been a little while since we've had a name system, but uh, you know, things can change and change very quickly as we get through the month of August. So still a lot of hurricane season yet to go. Meanwhile, in the Pacific Basin, it has been a busy one and continues to stay pretty busy as well. We have two name systems right now. This is Tropical Storm Frank. It's the bigger one of the two, and this one going to perhaps even interact with the other tropical system that we've got out there. This is probably going to become a hurricane as we are wrapping up the week tomorrow. So something certainly will be watching. Does not look like it's going to be a problem for land, but nonetheless something to monitor. And then we've got Tropical Storm Georgette. It's pretty disorganized and on top of that, you can see it's going to just meander as we get through the next couple of days. I even took off the uh, the timeline with this one because all of them were just on top of one another because it's not really going to be making too much movement as we get through the next couple of days. It's just going to continue to linger in one location. And again, that could interact with that other name storm, Georgette and Frank in the Pacific Basin. Hey, if you want to stay on top of it, go ahead and download that Fox 26 weather app. That is your tip it to everything weather here in the Houston area and of course in the tropics as well. And you can follow along on social media here too.